what's going on guys welcome to another video and let's learn on how to make a dynamic enum and for our case today it's actually a question from uh brian and it goes by uh and it goes like this do you have a video for dynamic enum that would show the available time slots example if you choose the date AppShift will check the available time slot and present, present them in the list. So this is actually a very interesting case. And I guess it's usually for appointment-based applications. Uh, and which, of course, we can do in AppSheet. And of course, with that, without further ado, let's check it out. All right, guys. So as usual, let me just explain the table structure that I have for this tutorial today. So let's say, for example, I'm running a small clinic and I'm doing a, an appointment application using AppSheet. So therefore, I have the appointment ID, the procedure, the date, and time slot. All right. So that is the uh, columns existing in appointments table now moving on to time slots table i have the ready made time slots that i have predefined for my business so we have starting with 9 a.m until 5 p.m in the evening okay so you can add or modify your time slots accordingly so here we have the time slots that we'll be using for our reference in the app later. So now in the app itself, in the data view, we want to make sure a few things. First is our time slot must be in time. Okay. And it has to be the key and label as well. Now back in appointments table, the most important part is the time slot itself. So I've set it as reference. Okay. So in reference itself, the source of the table is referring back to the time slots table. So therefore, you see my selection here is time slots. And another important element of this is the data validity. Here you will see I have used a, an expression in valid if. And this is the expression used to identify the existing or used time slots in the appointment table. And here you will see the select function where it selects the time slots in time slots table. Sorry, it's a bit repetitive here. So it's selecting the time slot in the list, which we have done in the time slots table. So this is the list. All right. So this expression here that I've prepared is basically looking for the time slots that is not being used in the appointments table. All right. So anything, whereas the date used in the appointment table is not uh, it's equivalent to the date that we are adding as a new row so whatever time slots there is that is not being used will be displayed so how this works is basically let's say i'll just delete my sample data here all right so when we add a new uh, data, let's say we select our, our data here as medical checkup for today's date. And we can actually see a list of time slots available. Let's say, for example, I'm selecting the first slot available for the day, which is 9 a.m. So there you see the 9 a.m. time slot has been used for the 10th of July. Then the moment I want to use, I want adding a new data. 
using the same date which is the 10 of July say for example I'm you're going for consultation and you can actually see there is the available time slot but the 9 a.m. time slot is no longer displaying here at, at all so let's select 10 a.m. so we have two slots being used and let's say for minor surgery here for the same date you will see the 9 and 10 a.m. slots are no longer available but if we were to select let's say for tomorrow then you can actually see the 9 and 10 a.m. slots available since there is no existing appointments for these two slots that I've mentioned earlier so this is basically how you can actually do a dynamic uh, time slot using app sheet and the expressions that I shared earlier. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a comment uh, asking on what else you would like to see in the, for the next video. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't so that you find more contents like this in the future. I'm Aris Azhar. Thank you very much for your time. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.